Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, I'm going to answer that question I get asked a ton of times. How do you work with Microsoft Office files when all you have is a Chromebook? Well, in fact, my daily driver is an Acer Chromebook R13. And yes, I do work with Microsoft Office files as well as Google files. And I'm going to break down exactly how I work with those files in this video. Now, working with Microsoft Office files can be classified into two big groups. The first group is where you're converting the file and you're going to change it into a Google format. The second group is where you keep it as a Microsoft Office file you edit the file, share it, and it stays as an office file. That means there's no more conversions needed and you can share it with someone who wants to open it in Microsoft Office. Now, the first group, let's start there. There are two main things to be aware of. First of all, we can convert our files manually or we can convert our files automatically when uploaded. Now, in order to activate this, you either right click on your Microsoft Office file and open it in Google Docs. This will then create a Google Docs format and you can file save it as Google Docs. That's the easiest way. The second way is to have Google Drive automatically convert all your files. In order to do that, simply find the settings cogwheel at the top, then click on settings. And the option you are looking for is that extra tick box that says automatically convert uploaded files. If you do this, whenever a file is uploaded into your Google Drive, it is automatically converted to the Google format. This is great when you're trying to save storage or when you just want to make that big jump, that leap of faith and start using just Google files. Now, that's not all you can do. Recently, Google has rolled out an update and this update allows us to move to that second group and that's the group where we keep Microsoft Office files as Office files. What's the update? Well, the update is that we can add comments. So let's go ahead and open up a Microsoft Office file. As you can see from the logo, this is a Microsoft Office file. I can now highlight a sentence or word. And now using the icon at the top that is very similar to the comment icon, I can click on that and I can now comment onto a Microsoft Office file without having to convert it. This is great when you're just simply trying to highlight little things or make notes for colleagues who are using Microsoft Office. And that brings us to the biggest announcement made by Google in recent weeks. At Cloud Next 19, Google announced that they're now rolling out editing of Microsoft files without having to convert them. Now, what does that look like? Well, you've got your preview window open, as you can see. We're going to click on open and then Google Docs. Now, don't worry, this is not going to convert the file because as you can see at the top, we now have this blue little icon. This tells us that we are still using a Microsoft Office file. We have editing capabilities. We can start editing this file. And when it saves the file, it is still a Microsoft Office file. This is great for when you've got colleagues working with Microsoft Office, you yourself are working on a Chromebook and you prefer to use the Google Docs editor, but conversions can take up time or sometimes even mess up your formatting. This way, we don't have that problem. Now, if you do choose to then still convert it into a Google Docs format, simply go to File and then select Save as Google Docs. If at the time of watching this video, you do not have this feature yet, you will see that your files are automatically converted. That's because this is a gradual rollout. And as time progresses, Google is rolling this out to various domains. Me, myself, I have it on two of my domains. The other domains do not have access to this yet, but you can expect it very shortly. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, jump into that comment section below and let me know. Let me know how you are going to use this function and do you still have a lot of colleagues or friends that are sharing Microsoft Office files with you? What else would you like to see coming to G Suite and what video would you like next? I thank you for watching. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.